Okay, being a black folks, I basically appreciate the whoever emailed me. I like to keep people's names priority, uh, you know, private, privileged. Priority, privileged. Privileged, priority. Okay. And in my state that I, all the states that I live in, basically, your information is totally privileged. And if your state says it's not, you got constitutional rights. Everything's a privilege. You want to know something? Get a subpoena. Sue me. Okay, now, basically, what we got here is I want, would love to anybody, aircraft, every once in a while, I'll look up, see the newest stuff that we're going on. Let me know what you know for the fastest speed of any jet that we've got right now. Okay? Now, in the past, I've got better than this, and I just looked at this now. So I'm, what I'm saying is, is basically, it could be proven that this is a plane, a satellite, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. What we're going to look at is 2100 hour, three minutes. There's nothing here. Now I'm going to hit play and pause. And I think, did we just have it? Okay, there we, I think we have the emergence of it, or is that the disappearance of it, something, okay? The guy emailed me on, okay, now watch that if that's it or not, or if it's something else. Hang on. Nope. It's that, and then it's also, so we look at the time, we got to look at the clock. So we had 2107, and then what else do I end up with? That's 2108. So that one, but there was a bigger one that I saw earlier when I was just looking at it. That's probably an airplane, more than likely, okay? Because if you watch the minutes, that was slow enough to be an airplane. Before that, let's go ahead and look at, it gets into the 21-minute hour. 2100 hour, I mean. And we're going to keep clicking until we get right at, and then we should get our object. There it is. Okay. Now, 2102, gone. 2104, two minutes. Now, that one was closer and faster. Now, I am not discerning that the idea that I did agree a long time ago that some of our airplanes, but with the videos that we had earlier last year, if you go to all my Hawaii films that I was showing you, we had precedence that the idea that we were getting light propagation from outer space or something was coming by asteroids or something because we were moving uh, they were moving so damn fast that they couldn't have been an airplane nothing so I've got old videos to prove that I'm not gonna I don't have time to go back through that but I was checking this guy out, out he, he was wanting to see and we got 2004 I think it probably already went by so let's go back there let's just watch it come up and it should be did it already go by Watch for a flash, lower left here, above the clouds. I think I'm getting close. No, what it's going to be is not that original first object that I showed you. Should be anyway. Should be coming into a view here in a second. Watch the clock, because it's just uh, minutes, 20, 100 hour, 58 minutes. Okay. And there you go. So that fast object, I don't know. I think that possibly could be an F-18 or something like that. I'm not positive. But if it's military, they usually, well, they do. Because when I was flying in Hawaii, I seen the F-16s and F-18s that were there, and that was about four years ago. And that, I was so proud of the idea of the U.S. We were, hey, we're safer in hell. We're over in Hawaii, and we got, because they basically patrol the whole Pacific, ladies and gentlemen. They're up there all the time, and it's other countries that it would be interesting to know what we get for trade back for keeping everybody safe as hell out there in the Pacific Ocean because they're always touring the Pacific Ocean, F-18s and, and whatever new that they've got going on up there. So anyway, you got that object there that's going to go away. I'll hit pe play and pause, and there you go, and it's gone. So I kind of believe that that could be an airplane, but then again, if you guys think in your mind too that that's a damn fast, it could have been another one of our fast-moving objects. And basically, I think I've already went past it. So I don't know. Let's see what else we got here. At the, uh, and and uh, actually, this is the 29th. So he was saying to look at the 27th. So I'm going to go look at the 27th. So it's interesting. And that, because that was about the time that he said was a 22 to 2100 hour, I think, or 1 o'clock or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Let's go take a look. So I'm going to go to the 27th and see what we got there. Let this play through. I'm gonna. I got a pause video, and I don't think a volcano blew. I don't think it blew in Hawaii at all. I'm telling you that right now. I don't really don't believe this. I was gonna make a video before showing the high, high clouds that we were getting way up high up here. Okay, but watch how at this portion on the still on the 29th. Okay, 
I'm on the thir April 30th. You can see the time and the clock there to the right. Now, check out how high the clouds are getting because we know that telescopes at like 13.7, okay? Check out how high they got for clouds just there on the island. As it's going to move up, and there you go. Got cloud cover way high. So anyway, there's my, uh, my uh, example. And the idea in the, in the past, if you look at any of those videos that are at CloudCam in Hawaii, and I'm still playing it. It's going through. That's what was on the screen. So we're still going through high cloud cover. You can see some high clouds at very high altitudes, and everybody's been talking about it. NASA's been studying it too lately. But basically, it gets created from volcanoes that are cooling Earth because of the supergiant suns and the sun and its angle of sun on us and everything like that. And yeah, Venus is going to go in front of the sun and everything like that. The always thing is, is like to make sure that no one makes us think that the idea that there's Martians out there because they're not. If they tried to pull something. So anyhow, that's weather on the telescope there, and then the sun coming up because there was moisture on it. So don't get uh, freaked out on that. So let's see what we got for actual natural filtration again, though, as that. And as you see, we do somewhat do get something there. I don't know if it could be man-made or not, but you do see that you get a object that, because uh, basically we end up with high clouds, so we get moisture on the uh, camera. But as you see, as we're moving through here, that there is something, whether it's in front of... Now, could it be a good view that we're getting of the object I was showing you in the video before this? The uh, 19... Uh, it possibly could. But uh, it shouldn't be between us and the moon, you would think, because factuality... So it would be nice what we see. And as you can see that moving across, there is something moving across and shadowing. So whether that's the moon or whatever at that certain time. So check out at the, what is it, the 6 through, it could be just the sun, I suppose. But then again, it could be a natural filtration of seeing what's around the sun. And basically, we know, I'll go to that object again, we'll go to RSOE, and I'll bring the name of that object. And there's a link up there, folks, and everything like that. We're at the minor planet and everything like that. And basically, you'll get a plot, uh, basically, of the information that I uncovered a long time ago. And basically, this is... Uh, basically, I believe not. This is the Earth's path right here, that dotted line. Okay. Collision lateral, uh, and then those are all the objects. And basically, these are the extra sun stars that we were coming by, and the super giants, and so forth and so on. And they are massive distances out there in space. Okay. And then the sun is somewhere one of these dots, but it won't show up when I light up on them right now. That, that's not, not kind of that, that kind of a uh, internet map and anyway so there's all these massive objects and like I say big bangs because all these are or uh, minor planets okay and there's four some thousand or something uh, uh, we usually had the data on here right it would say that like okay there's like four thousand or something yeah four thousand minor planets are n known are now known and it's actually a lot more than that okay so all these are planets and stuff like that but let me give you a picture of that object that is out there in space because I di didn't get time and didn't get it in the last video uh, so this is more than likely all the super giants here this formations of the, all these uh, dwarf stars real bright stars and so forth and so on all scattered throughout the universes because the Milky Way galaxy is here and the Earth's trajectory is this is Earth coming through here and we go through all this stuff. That's why Jet Propulsion Lab is always watching all this moving objects. And I will even blow this up a little bit here. We'll get up to like 150. And you realize that we do need to keep an eye on everything out there in space. And you can read all the information there. Now, I know that it overlays, but you should be able to decipher the overlay there and read what you need to read. You can freeze that and read that if you can't get to the site. Okay. And then they have that where you can put in all these objects. Okay. You can select them. This thing's almost seven, seven kilometers large, and basically what we were going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And basically there's a shot of it here in rotations and stuff like that. And uh, it's just basically one object, but you get a, somewhat of an idea what it looks like. Let me just basically, there you go. Okay, those are different slides of it in one shot, and then we can go ahead and zoom in on it. And we will take a look around at it, and I don't think we really need to even go much more than... 400 to be able to take some nice looks at it. So this thing is like seven kilometers at the largest, we believe, and it's got a hole on it. It's got a cavity, and basically, there's your object more than likely that a lot of people are ending up seeing in the sky that they're getting a hold of. 
So, and I'll go back to the Wolfram information on this, and these are shots from NASA. And basically that's the same object. You just keep on seeing the digital images of it. They got scattered into one shot. Okay, and now whether it does that kind of a motion in one, you know, in like some kind of wild tangent out there in space, but that's basically the same object, bang, bang, bang. It's just different slides of it. Okay, and that's what it looks like. And let me, I guess the most interesting one would be the one that it looks like kind of like a scoop. So we'll go ahead like a broken up shell. So we're going to take a look in and we'll zoom in on that one right there because that looks like a good shot of it. So the ones up there on the internet that have been seeing what they're seeing, and that's what you're probably seeing, and that's what it is. This inside of it, what it looks like on the inside, on the side that's broke up, it looks like a broken up shell, like a broken up planet, and it's seven something meters, and there's like the outside roundy side of it. And there's some more of it angles as it flops through space and we'll go and come across and we'll see other images of it so anyway it's out there and it's you know it's a big seven kilometers is big and it, it's going to be 11 million miles from earth ladies and gentlemen okay so it's totally safe but what i was showing is if there's a big object it's magnetical proportions and it might be what sometimes we've seen around by the sun or anywhere up in space i think it actually might even be the object that uh some of my friends have seen uh, by the sun a long time ago, and they're like, well, what the heck is it? It looks like a face, and it's basically on a famous, um, uh, I'll say Floyd, uh, it's on their cover, and then I can say the color pink, okay? Uh, there's an artistical rendition of it. From the telos uh, you know, astronomers have seen this and stuff like that, and basically what it is is it does look like a broken up moon, and it goes up to like 2 AU away from Earth. Let's go to the data on it real fast. Okay, so YouTube, and then basically letting everybody know out there, basically, I can't approve things, okay? I approve, I try to approve comments, and they won't go on. And I hope that those were two comments, yeah, I think I was going to approve both of those. So basically, that is somewhat of a satellite up the moon, because it goes two AU away, and that's hell of far out. And it's even going to be 11 million miles away from Earth, okay? So we do have more than one, you know, at one time or other, we've had more than one. And there, there's a remnants around Earth that follow us, okay? So there are tiny little things way smaller than the moon that follow Earth and the moon around. There's actually tiny objects that follow the moon's orbit around. There's st objects out there. They're smaller, okay? And they're not letting me approve. Uh, uh, they don't want us to communicate, I guess. Basically. They won't let me approve comments, folks. And so the only reason I was kind of repeating and going to this information on Kumo is basically is just the idea that maybe that is what is being seen in front of the sun at six o'clock on the uh, the Hawaiian one. So basically, go to Worldwide Telescope and take time with that. I'm not really going to waste time worrying about where it's at because it's 11 mi million miles out. Okay, and here's your configuration, and I even have a sky. Map. Now we might end up with this being a military pilot or something like that, or a commercial pilot, and that's what time he leaves Hawaii. I'm not positive either. But then again, it could be just an omit. Uh, the person actually wanting to know what this object is because basically around the same time that because we're on the 26th and the 27th now okay so that you have to watch the clock on that because it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to play this back and forth but we got 2039 and this is on the 26th and there you got that uh, so that's the minutes and then 2037 it's gone so what time did it show back up again? At 33. At 35 minutes it shows up. Let me, and then there's 36. So that's a minute. That could be an airplane, you know, on that one. So, but then again, it could be our light propagation coming back around again that's out there. So I don't know if there's anything more interesting here on, and then like I say, it could end up being, a, because that one there is slower again. So that, to me, doesn't matter whether it's a satellite or whatever, it's coming around at the same time. So it could be pilots, it could be a plane. But before we have seen objects, and then you have to just wait, take your time and slow them down and see if it's actually a plane or not. So that could be a plane, it might not be a plane. In the past, you have to go to my old videos of you just look for an image of uh, Hawaii Skycam. And basically, I'm just going to fast forward through this again because it probably shouldn't get exciting until it gets around. Matter of fact, I can't remember if I videotaped the 27th before, but there comes the Super Giants. Let's see what we had on the 27th. Let's see if that, and there, that, that, that image is there again. So it's going to be keeping on showing up because whatever that is is in front and it's getting x rayed. You can see that there from the sun and the Super Giants, the 3D image. And there's there and there. 
So you have to match those lines up and see if it is uh, something to do with Jupiter. I mean with Venus or Jupiter, either 